On behalf of the Partnership for Jewish Schools, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2018 Jewish School Awards. Every finalist will receive £1,000 and the winners £5,000 to be used for a project of their choice within their school. And the winner is Rabbi David Wilk. In many regards, the Jewish Schools Awards is the highlight of the academic year, certainly for our Jewish schools and absolutely for pages. It's just a pleasure going into work. I'm surprised they pay me. I am surprised. <laughs> the Jewish News has the opportunity every year to honour the achievements of pupils through uh, the GCSE and A-level results coverage. We always felt there was a gap and that those behind that success, they didn't really ever get the recognition that they deserved. That was really the reason for creating uh, these Jewish School Awards three years ago. At its heart, the Jewish School Awards is a, a celebration, not a competition. This category came as a request from schools, a way to allow us to recognise the often outstanding and yet entirely unsung support given by the non-teaching staff. And the winner is Mrs Joanne Bernard. Education is fundamental. Uh, I remember my teacher that helped shape my creativity and I would have loved for him to have received an award. She's a very, very special person and a role model to all her colleagues for the way in which she works. I think we call it the Jewish Schools Awards. This third award that we've had shows why it's not the teaching awards because not just there engaging people or they're inspiring to their pupils. The students are being supported mentally, emotionally. Um, Mr Moses Kirasin of Eden Prime. We've decided to make awards for mental health and well-being champion. We know that this is a major issue for heads and governors and this award reflects the importance of this issue and the great work that is going on already in our schools. And the winner is Ms Anna Livotti. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but just thank you, and I hope to continue to do my job, so I love it. Thank you. It's something that we have never recognised before, and I think we want to show that as the Jewish school community, we are really trying and we're really making as much effort as we can to tackle this issue. Let's head a sixth form, just listen, I guess, use my two ears and listen to the boys, and whenever there are issues or problems, I just try to help wherever I can. Teaching is the noblest of professions. Teachers shape generations. In Jewish halakha and in Jewish tradition and in Jewish history, schools came ahead of everything else. One is meant to sell shuls and even sifrei Torah to pay for teachers. Did you know that? Our children will not remain Jewish because of the memories. Those memories are ours, not theirs. Our children remain Jewish only if they are proud to be Jewish. We speak in terms of top schools, and that's important, very important, but we mean top Jews. That's our mission. 